So you guys have probably heard a lot about our famous cheetah named Sarah, who holds the world record for the fastest land mammal. But I bet you don't know as much about another spotted predator, one that lives high up in the mountains. I'm talking about the snow leopard, one of the rarest of all large cats. This big cat lives in the regions of China, Bhutan, Tibet, Nepal, Afghanistan, and Russia, which is a lot of regions in Asia and the Middle East. However, it was only one and a half years ago that researchers were able to capture video footage of a baby snow leopard in that natural habitat. No wonder they're classified as elusive and rare if it takes so much work just to capture video footage. So what do these mountain kings look like? They're a little smaller than cheetahs, standing only about two feet tall, with thick fur and spots of gray or black. They have very long, thick tails that help them balance in the high, rocky mountains. Their tail can also act as a warm blanket during cold nights when they can wrap it around themselves to create a nest. Their fur also allows them to camouflage and blend in with the environment, which allows them to hide very efficiently when they're hunting. These cats also have the ability to leap over six times the length of their body, which is pretty awesome. I've already mentioned that snow leopards live way up high in the mountains, so how are they able to thrive in this crazy environment? We've already talked about their warm fur and their thick tails, but did you know that snow leopards have other adaptations for the cold environment? One of which is their nose. The inside of a snow leopard's nose is larger than most cats, which allows them to actually warm the cold air as they breathe it into their lungs. They also have wide paws, which act like snowshoes. They have a better grip on the icy and snowy terrain. At this point, most of you are probably thinking, wow, snow leopards are pretty awesome. How did I not know all that? And you would be right. But snow leopards are now listed as an endangered species. One of the biggest problems facing snow leopards is a changing climate. Researchers at World Wildlife Federation recently predicted that if the climate continues to warm like it is right now, the snow leopard habitat could decrease by 30%. Warmer areas will force the snow leopard population to move to other areas, causing them to become isolated, more vulnerable to hunters or starvation, and far away from other members of their family or populations. However, there are plenty of things that all of us can do to help the snow leopards, even from at home. Being aware of the fact that what you, what all of us do every day, can affect climate change, can help all of us prevent it too. And working towards this goal is easy for families or friends to do together. It's as easy as turning off the water while you brush your teeth, or using a reusable bottle instead of a plastic one at school. You can also take advantage of natural light instead of turning on lamps during the day. Or you can ride to school on the bus, or ride with friends to cut down on the amount of trips that you take. And if you would like to see firsthand the animal that you can help every day, you can see our very own rare and elusive snow leopard at the Cincinnati Zoo's Cat Canyon. You can show off what you know and spread awareness to your friends and family, which is pretty awesome. If you're interested in getting involved and helping educate on ways to help animals like the snow leopard, you can visit us online or you can call 513-559-7736 and someone in our volunteer department will get you started. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something awesome about the snow leopards and now you can share it with someone else and spread awareness just like that.